syringe out of the black colored case. Wipe all surfaces of the syringe with cotton gauze dipped in alcohol. The nozzle of the Vitapec syringe is inserted into the middle of the root canal. Then the piston of the syringe is slowly pressed. The paste should reach the periapical tissue. When the nozzle is slowly pulled out, notice the paste reverse back into the pulp chamber. Take a look at this beautiful manipulation. After pulling out the nozzle, the paste is compressed a little with a cotton pellet, and the Vitapex root canal filling is accomplished. You can see from this scene that the Vitapex paste will reach the periapical focus, or lesion. There will be an excellent outcome after Vitapex use. Now we would like to discuss infected root canal cases. The root orifice enlargement is the same as in pulpectomy cases, but there is a difference in the penetration of the root apex opening with fine reamer and file. Don't open the apical foramen too widely, please. Reamer and file number 20 or number 25 should be used for this procedure. As you know, the root canal penetration will then come up to around one millimeter above the anatomical apex using a thicker file. A sufficient amount of the paste held in the root canal will result in successful filling. In general practice in this country, antiseptic medicaments are applied after root canal irrigation. In this film, a paraclor phenylguaiacol compound, methacol, is employed for this purpose. This procedure is usually repeated two or three times. As the root apex is perforated, the paste can pass through and reach the lesion or abscess. After that, resorption of the paste is expected as the healing of the periapical tissue goes on. It is better to press this pace out a little into the abscess or lesion. In both pulpectomy cases and infected root canal cases, a root canal filling technique with spiral filler has been recently introduced. But you don't need to learn this technique because our paste has such excellent accessibility. Next, we would like to show you typical clinical cases using some x-ray films and pathological photos. This is a clinical male case, 52 years old, with acute ulcerative pulpitis of the upper left canine tooth. Following pulpectomy and Vitapex filling, After 11 months, this case would stay healthy if observation were continued.
This photo is a clinical female case, 13 years old, with ulcerative pulpitis of the upper left lateral incisor before operation. Following pulpectomy and Vitapex root canal filling. Two months after root canal filling, the excellent prognosis is apparent in this x-ray photograph. This is a pathological figure from an 82-year-old man who had acute superative pulpitis. Pulpectomy and Vitapex root canal filling were performed. 13 months after root canal filling, as you can see, the root apex is completely closed with bone-like hard tissue. These are x-ray films of the clinical procedure. This male patient was 18 years old. He had chronic superative periodontitis of upper anterior teeth number one and number two before operation. Immediately after Vitapex filling, notice that Vitapex paste has reached the fossae. After six months, healing has gradually proceeded Bone-like hard tissue is beginning to be formed. After two years, root apexification has been completed by bone-like hard tissue. We believe that this is a biological goal of root canal filling. We recommend a hard type endodontic cement such as Dentalis KEZ be used at the same time. This is a clinical male case, 38 years old, with chronic superative apical periodontitis of the lower first bicuspid tooth before operation. Three weeks after Vitapex filling. Two months after Vitapex filling. three months after Vitapex filling. Recalcification and a focus has clearly appeared. You can notice the paste resorbed and then pressed out. Vitapex's significant properties for deciduous teeth are as follows. The speed of the root resorption must match that of the root canal filler. As you know, it is better not to use a solid type root canal filler, like a gutta percha point or a silver point, because there is physiological root apex resorption in deciduous teeth. Antiseptic agents must be continually dispensed. Simple manipulation for insertion into root canal. Radio opacity. Vitapex fully satisfies the above requirements. Therefore, we would especially recommend Vitapex for deciduous teeth cases. These are x-ray films of deciduous teeth. The patient is a five-year-old boy. This was taken right after Vitapex filling. The Vitapex filling was immediately applied after pulpectomy and the paste has access to the periapical tissues. After 10 months, the paste is resorbed at the same rate as the root resorption. After 30 months, the root resorption and the Vitapex resorption are almost completed. The tooth will soon be shed without any damage to the permanent one to follow. These two photos are pathological specimens from a puppy. Experimental period, 19 days. Pathological results are excellent. A part of the vital pulp remains. Partial dentin bridge formation can be seen on the surface of the pulpal tissue. Experimental period, 60 days. 
pathological results are excellent. The periodontal membrane is completely healed up and its cementum bridge is partially formed around the apical portions. Let us show you how to handle some actual clinical situations. Prepare the patient with a rubber dam in the standard way. The free angle holder allows you to work in all positions. When filling the upper central incisor, fix the little finger of your right hand on the mandibular bone and use mirror technique. When filling the upper molar teeth, fix the index finger of your left hand on the proximal teeth and press the nozzle of the syringe slowly with the right thumb. Use direct vision. When you fill lower molar teeth and lower anterior teeth, follow the same technique and you will achieve the same excellent results. We are certain that you will find both the paste and the delivery syringe reliable and easy to use.